Hey Falcon fans, uh, we're here with Juan Ruggiero, offensive coordinator for BGSU, uh, the football Falcons. And we're going to talk some uh, of the recruits today. Warren's first with uh, his recruits coming in, and, and uh, National Letter of Intent today is signing day. And uh, Warren's got a couple young men that uh, fit the bill, the, the Falcon family, very well. We're going to talk about Matt Johnson, Zach Steinmetz a little bit. Uh, yeah, Matt's a quarterback at Bishop McDevitt High School, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Um, he was, uh, you know, certainly uh, a top pick for us. He was one of the first guys we offered uh, this recruiting class. Um, his record as a starter is, is unbelievable. He's, he's uh, what is it exactly? He's like 35, and um, he's got a few wins under his belt. Yeah, for sure. he's 39 and five as a starter, which is you know, which is incredible. Um, they went all the way to the state championship this game. He's a very mobile kid. Uh, can run around, make a lot of plays. Um, got a very strong arm, and uh, we were very fortunate to get him. Very fortunate. We had to hang on. There was a lot of a lot of recruiting activity around him, but uh, he had committed in the summer to us. And, and he's playing in the Big run. 33, which is quite an honor. And that's you know, to, to get a Big 33 yeah. kid he's, he's, uh, from Ohio or and or Pennsylvania. It means uh, those kids are pretty yeah. good at what they do. Yeah, he's playing in the Big 33. Played in the Chesapeake Bowl, which is another All-Star game uh, down there. He actually won the MVP honors uh, there. So. Who's, who's he remind you of college-wise if has, has had some success over the last number of years? Boy, I mean, I would say I would say he's a Drew Brees type of kid. Excellent. You know, mobile playmaker, winner, great decision-maker, accurate thrower. So we're excited to have him. And then Zach Steinmetz in our own backyard from Toledo St. John's. Yep. Actually, young guys have seen play a couple times with St. John's playing down here at the Doy. And uh, have success through the playoffs, and it's exciting to, to get a local kid who's got a lot of uh, you know a lot of great uh, accolades uh, under his belt as well. Right, right. Zach um, was a guy that again we were, we were very fortunate to get. Uh, he fits our system very well. You know, as time goes on, we, we've certainly been trying to add tight end, H back types right. into our offense. Uh, last year, we, we got three very good ones um, in, the, in that recruiting class. Uh, this year we got Zach. He's, he's he's got great hands, playmaker. Makes a, has made a ton of uh, plays in traffic, um, and in the same note, he's he's pretty strong and a pretty nice blocker at the point of attack, which is what we need. We need a guy who can create an edge in the run game. Um, he can do that. So uh, it was critical that we got another kid in that in that mold in this recruiting gotcha. class, and, and Zach fits it. So. And, and he's 6'4", 240. Oh, does yeah. he have room to put some more weight on that frame? Oh, yeah. Or does he need to? He, yeah. He's, you know, he's a pretty athletic kid. I know Coach Plossen's system, but, you know, yeah. you, you want a, the, the right type of tight end to fit that system. Yeah, he'll be, he'll, you know, he'll be 255, probably no more than 260, because he's still, you know, he's still a pass threat for us. He, he's a good edge guy, but we're not going to get him too, too much like a tackle, because uh, he can get down the field. We, we still would like to use him uh, in the pass game a decent amount. Well, it seems like two great guys that fit our system, Coach. Uh, yeah. Thank you for your time, and, and uh, congratulations on a great class. Yeah. Very, very excited for these young thank men. You. Thank you.